Hi, I'm Laura Nelkin. I'm a knitwear designer. I live in upstate New York in the Finger Lakes region, and I want to talk to you about a way to cast on for one by one ribbing. So there's kind of two main ways that I cast on when I'm doing a project that starts with one by one ribbing. Sometimes I'll use a German twisted cast on and I have a separate video for that. But sometimes I like to use a cast on that's called a tubular cast on that kind of rolls around the edge of the cast on. It's really neat and tidy. And the one that I like to use is a folded tubular cast on. Now, when I first learned how to do a folded tubular cast on. It was started with a provisional cast on, which can be a little bit finicky. And since I have fallen in love with my st with Stitch Saver as my new favorite tool, I want to show you how you can use Stitch Saver to do a folded tubular cast on for one by one ribbing. I think that you'll find this incredibly easy to do and you might not revert to using another cast on again. So, Let's jump right into it together. All right, if we look under the camera, I wanna show you what this folded tubular cast on looks like at the bottom of your ribbing. You can see that it's nice and elastic. I use the same size needle that I use for my ribbing. You might find that you need to go up or down in needle size to get an elasticity that you like. And I always suggest that you try this with your yarn and needles before you cast on for your entire project to make sure that you like the needle size that you're using. So what I'm going to do to start is use a piece of Stitch Saver. This is two millimeter hollow rubber or silicone tubing. I'll give you a link to it below so that you can read more about it. I've got a whole blog post that kind of goes deep into my love for it. And now I am gonna provisionally cast on half the number of stitches that my pattern calls for. And I'm gonna do that by making a slip knot and putting it onto my stitch saver and then kind of locking that slip dot down. And then with the working yarn, not with the tail, that's always a thing we all do, right? I'm gonna go ahead and provisionally cast on half the number of stitches I need on to my stitch saver. If you have never worked a provisional cast on onto stitch saver before, I do have a separate video for that as well. Now, once you've done that provisional cast on, you're gonna go ahead and turn your work and then you are going to purl one row and you're gonna purl one row across. And then after you're done purling that row, you're gonna knit and purl one more row and then I'm gonna show you what to do next. Okay. So once you've worked that purl row and then a knit row and a purl row, this is what your work is going to look like. You're gonna have your provisionally cast on stitches on your stitch saver, and then you're gonna have live stitches on your working needle. The next thing that we are going to do is take these stitches from our stitch saver and put them back onto our needle. But the first thing that needs to happen is that slip knot at the beginning of the provisional cast on needs to be taken off and dropped. So I'm just gonna pull that off of the beginning right there and drop that out. And now I'm gonna take the end of my stitch saver and I am going to take a needle and jam that onto the end right there really hard. And then I'm going to pull the stitch saver so that I pull the needle through. And now those provisionally cast on stitches are on my needle and ready to go. So you can see I've got those provisionally cast on stitches here and my live stitches here. Now what's gonna happen to make the ribbing, so I can just explain this to you, is you're gonna be knitting a stitch from the front needle and purling a stitch from the back needle, and that's gonna create that tubular cast on. So you could go ahead and start to do that right now, but I find with this cast on that it's actually almost easier to slip your stitches from the front needle and the back needle 
onto a third needle, have all of your stitches ready to go, and then go ahead and start working the one by one ribbing. So if I was to do that, what I'm gonna do is start with the front needle and slip the first stitch purlwise, and then I'm gonna to go to the back needle and slip that first stitch purlwise. And I'm gonna continue this across but you'll see when I get to the second stitch on the back needle that it's oriented with the left leg in front from the provisional cast on. So while I'm slipping that stitch, I'm going to reorient it so that it is on the needle correctly. And that's part of why I like to do this stitch step, just to reorient those stitches and have them ready to go. So continue and do that all the way across and then come back and we will work that one by one ribbing together. All right, now I have all of my stitches onto one needle and I'm just gonna go ahead and start knitting the first stitch and purling the second stitch you will see that they present as knit and purls, so it will be really easy to know which stitch you're supposed to work, and you've already reoriented them, so you don't need to worry about that. And then, when you're done, you will be ready to go with your one-by-one -one tubular cast on to work your ribbing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'd love if you wanna to subscribe to my channel. I love doing deep dives with you, teaching you new things as I discover them and playing with our yarn and needles together. Happy knitting.